right, for time for another soaked in Sunday. I should come up with a better name than this. Maybe I'll just rename that file uh, Castle Mania. Royal Chapel. I think I was going for. Yeah, I noticed a mistake. <laughs> I know I made a mistake. Well, there's like a file commit called Snorky McSnork Face. And I thought I grabbed a snorkel then, but then I look at another video that was playing, and it was me going after the snorkel. And this is definitely posted. I'm, I this was like right after like a very early morning playthrough. So I'm in the cathedral now. I'm going for the other ring. Let me play. Yeah. And everything's recording all right. Yeah, my voice is pretty loud. Do I have the fairy yet? I thought I have the fairy. Relics. There does seem to be... So, in another twist of fate, I'm still doing some... Doing some testing. I am seeing some off, like maybe it's not doing as good. In some previous videos I talked about. I've already been up here, yeah. Yeah, let's see. A very important trick to learn in so um, Castlemania is the jump slash. have the permanent mist yet. Where is that hidden at? I'd like to know how she got in here. And how she, well, she can get out now. I can definitely hear a lot of popping. That's it's, it's the. Oh. Okay, go back down this way. There are some things to check. I don't need to go in there. Trying to do the wing smash. The googles. Yeah, I don't want to lower my defense. No thing I learned playing. Time spinner is when I'm jumping from a high and I'm gonna do a quick crouch. Ooh. Now we're doing this. That's the reason why I bother with it. Fire breath yet? TNT! Dino My! Bulk of life, huh? 
Shuriken. I cast Magic Missile. Heal item power. Cool, Mystic Pendant. That would be better. Keep it safe, safe, safe all the time. Um, this is a Sunday show. What should I talk about at the end of the uh, gameplay here? I don't remember if I ever. There are some checks down here to do. here I need to get to. Man, this is... This is kind of loud in my ear. Yeah. Yeah, this is also a little bit quiet on the game front, so I'll turn that back up. Oh! Does this ever happen to uh, Dragon Blitz? Ah, uh, that's why I keep getting confused. been there. Oh. Well, I kind of effed this up a bit. I've already been through all Roxas course. Yeah, I need to get to the clock tower. before I hit the tower section. And it's after I get these goggles that I need. So I'm gonna pause, all right? Play, oh, again. 
Always taking focus off the screen. Thinks like I've been up there, so now what I gotta do is quit. Uh. <laughs> Doesn't matter what order you put him in. You put him in the wrong order, and you wind up. Can reaches up and grabs you. Get over here! Ah! Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Glasses, Batman. I just used to uh, the bat. I can actually get up there. Now, where is the item that keeps me in permanent mist form? Where have I missed it? Where have I missed the mist? Search as to where certain things are at. Give me five seconds, but another 25 before the thing clips open. Um, turns out the form of power of mist is in the castle keep, which I haven't really been through yet. And there's like a few other items tote around the clock tower, like the fire bat. The clock tower is my least favorite place to go. I'm gonna make you suffer through the, uh... Crispy, you want expert play? Go watch Dragon Blitz. He's, he's the best. Go visit the bright side of the clock tower. I 
That's the entrance. Forget where that's at. Scorpion. I want to get that fire or bat in the shaman shield. And that's why I hate the clock tower, because that's where you usually find all these Medusa heads. Of he or she. This way so I can just go across. Now, my thought was originally to just go ahead and skip. Switch back to you. There is something funny about this wall. Suspicious looking. She points me. <laughs> or is this healing mail? Was I supposed to get that a lot earlier? Yeah, 
it's like Metroid 3 where there's just no enemies. Yeah, Mega Man X2 did this where character where bosses would react. And you just get him in a loop where you just keep hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting and they just never fight back. Yeah, the the sore keys falchi. Fairy just kind of falls down on Sky, her legs are just way up in the air. in the mail. Danny. Let's go to see a... Spike Breaker. Okay, there's one item I gotta get put on right now, and that is the holy glasses. Yeah, 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 yeah
Five minutes, that's pretty good. That's, uh, as soon as I get to the next, the, uh, spot where I can save, that's where I'll save. Hmm. Is there one nearby? Yeah, there, there is. I should have tried to do the, the glitch where I can skip the Rector fight. Stuff to look for around in here. <laughs> we'll get these areas checked. sword. His parents weren't married. The, uh, the blacksmith was a, um, son of an unmarried blacksmith. Royal cloak. Oh, I get some good ones here. Right away. November, she was arrested for dealing in opium laced high potions. Gaia, did anybody get that? Good, good. Good place to stop. <laughs> yeah, next I'll play a game of Time Spinner. All right, so I want to test out get like more for Sergeant Folly stories to tell. But I maybe I'll save those for some other day. But I want to tell this story. I, I alluded to it earlier. Well, there was that for a sergeant where he um was all a hullabaloo about stereos and stuff and never really had anything that lost a lot of credibility. But this was on occasion where he, um, really, this time, you know, he didn't take any crap or any shit. So this is like one of those, oh, man, there's like so many moving pieces in this story as it is. Um... It was a day that I got put on gate guard, and I volunteered for gate guard, because uh, the sergeant who's in charge of the... Um... Man, I'm blanking on the names. He used to call it the Ewok. The uh, Engineer Wolverine Operation Command or Center or something like that, or EOC. It was like, um... It was like CQ, but expanded into, like, just, like, two runners at the at the buildings and two gate guards. Well, this guy was a total jerk. I thought I was going to be, I'd, I'd, and normally me being like the, more of the senior E4, I would normally be on the desk. And that's where I'd normally like to be. But I didn't want to be with this guy because he was a jerky, jerky, jerk, 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 jerk. Um, someone who was a, who was a superior to the owl E3. So I went to the gate, because I hadn't done gate guard in years. 
literally years, and say I'll do that instead. Naples doesn't need to. There. <laughs> I know she put her hand right back on the controller. <laughs> well, what happened is, is that dur during the day, at one point, this uh, senior E7, who was a, uh, who fancied himself a sapper, and Gru wanted to go out go to this baseball game. Well, instead of just coming in and signing out and showing his IE card and warrior pass like everybody else does, he said he was too good to do that and just let him go. And the uh, PFC I was with, it's a weird saying, hey, look, these guys are supposed to do this. They're not doing it. We're asking them, we're begging, we're plating. He said, no, we're not doing it. We're too good for this. I'm an E-7 United States Army. Stuff like that. <laughs> well, the private went up there to tell the E-5, they, the EOC, oh, by the way, just to let you know, um, he wasn't put there because of uh, any type of injury or retirement plans or he's ETSing, PCSing. He wasn't put there because he was doing such a good job. He was put there because none of us in the platoons liked him. We wanted him out. We needed other E5s, and we said, not him. <laughs> and this, then the, uh, oh, I guess I'll say an E6. Or it might have even been an E, it might have been an E6, got over, he was on staff duty, and he just started screaming at this private about respect and know your place and stuff like that. And he go, do push-ups. I can't do push-ups. I'm on. Then sit down there while I... And he sat down. It's like, I'm looking at this and going, and I'm writing it up. I'm like, I got my... And I'm just writing everything up about that E7, not showing his ID card, about this getting harassed by ELC and the, and the um, staff duty in CO. Uh, first sergeant came back hours later. I mean, actually, the EOC said, you looked at me, looked at the report, and he just kind of smirked at me like, huh, yeah, you think, you, so you think anything's going to happen? <laughs> yeah, you're nothing but a piss ant to me, specialist. In fact, you'll be the private by tomorrow morning. That's how he kind of looked at me. And uh, that night, first sergeant came back from the whatever it is he was doing, what first sergeants do on their Saturdays off, and looked at the report. And asked us, do we have anything to say? I said, Private, do you have anything, pre FC, do you have anything to say? Yes, for a sergeant, I do. I said, uh, and for, okay, let's talk out back. Private told him everything that happened. PFC, I should keep saying private. That is the proper term, but PFC is better term. And then that was like about five minutes later, PFC came back in to the shop, to the shed. First sergeant, would normally, whenever I watched him before, would come back. He would just duck inside the uh, headquarters building, talk to ELC about anything, and then leave and gulp to his room. This time, about a minute or so after, uh, the first sergeant went inside the building, the lights in the upstairs went on. And I can tell the next more and the next, and throughout the rest of the night, the, um, that, that sergeant never checked on us, never came by the guard shed ever again, stayed at the desk, stayed whatever it was, and next morning when we had to uh, raise the flag, he was like extra snippy at me, but he was trying to be, but he really couldn't. <laughs> so got mad at me because, you know, when I was tying up the flag, the, the, the lanyard to the flag, the rope, well, I see you've never tied up a boat before. Well, excuse me for not being in the Longshoremen's Union where we don't have any rivers or lakes or stuff like that. I didn't grow up. And stuff like that. And I will... And then later on I got told by that private that, you know, the platoon sergeant and that staff duty NCO at separate came up and apologized to him. And I mean, I even, the first sergeant was up already and said, you're telling me that my senior non-commissions officers treated you like that and acted like that? 
Oh, no, that don't happen here. No. And stuff like that. And I would note that any other time that I was ever on duty again, CQ, I was never put on the same shift. If it was, it was only for like a few minutes. And like first thing, like when we checked in in the morning, and that's it. They made sure that we were never, ever on. The, I think he even went on vacation after that. <laughs> Yeah, this is where uh, I, I got to talk about. But that first sergeant really stood up for the soldiers on that occasion. That's where I got to say, okay, I'll, I'll deal with the loud stereos. He, he really stood up for us. They would not let crap go on. All right, anyway, anyway, what I got to talk about, since I've been keep bringing up superior to thou PFCs, that'll probably be the next thing I'll talk about after the time spinner video.